So you might have watched 15 different videos on how to make money in New World. Show me the money. <laughs> and there are thousands of ways to do it, from supplies, weapons, armor, the list truly goes on and on. But which way is actually the best, not only for the player to earn fast cash, but to keep their sanity and stuff for the end game. You need to have a proper mindset when it comes to looking at money in New World. Before you get cashed craze, seeing what an item is selling for, <laughs> figure out how much time, level requirement, and other items that are involved to sell said item. You see, I make money on a hybrid system that allows me to actually enjoy this game and do things with my friends while making passive money. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you today. And this can be done by a new player straight out of the gate. They're off. You see, New World isn't that different from the real world. You know, minus the walking dead zombies, ghosts, rock bears, wooden wolves, etc. Because when it comes to making money, it all comes down to supply and demand. My first piece of advice is to not be blinded by big numbers. Most people I find will look to see what something is selling for and they think they're gonna get this big cash lottery win. Now, although this does happen from time to time in New World, the market gets flooded really quickly as most players are doing that. You'll find it's the boring stuff that will make your bank account grow. And let's get into it. All right, I said that the system I work on is a hybrid system. So let's start with the fun stuff, the potential lottery winners. The first thing I do when I get into the game is I check the community board. You want to see the daily missions to get an idea of what will be selling the most for that day and see if there's any opportunities to make some big fast cash. For example, I made 250 gold per rosemary. I was able to do this because the daily mission required it for a recipe. I probably could have gotten more as I was the only one selling it, but honestly, I felt a little bad for even charging that much. But my point is keep your eyes open for these opportunities. Every day I see them, some are more profitable than others, but regardless, the money is there. And don't forget to gauge the time resource ratio. When it came to the rosemary, no one had it and low level players couldn't go where it was without dying a lot. So I figured it was worth my time and it paid off. Now, after I check the community board, I go and I do my daily money grind and I spend about an hour collecting three key items, flint, animal skins for leather and wood. These resources are in constant demand and everything I collect usually sells within an hour of listing them. And what's huge about these three key items is they don't require anything but your time. I can't stress enough how important this is. I see people saying in videos or in game that the big money is in with sand flux and sandpaper and cross weave and I highly recommend you do not sell these. You will need these items. If it's one of those things where you have a storage issue and you're feeling overwhelmed with these supply crate items, talk to someone in your company, give it to them or trade it for weapons, armors later, or just help out your, you know, your faction overall. Someone will need it or Hey, start leveling up the skill that requires them. Because when you start trying to build your levels in other areas in the game, you will end up wishing you never sold them. As the grind to get more is very time consuming and because supply crates can guarantee you'll get the item you actually need or want, you get my point. I don't find it's worth the quick buck. Time is money. And the quickest amount of coin for the least amount of your time will be flint, leather, and wood. If you get bored of those three, you can also grind hemp for linen. Again, another time only source. Same goes for, you know, with the herbs, charcoal from wood. I find these sell really well too, but not as fast as the others. What it all comes down to is being smart to the market and not being blinded by the quick cash scheme. Utilizing your time and efforts to make the most and fastest amount of money so you can enjoy the game and play while making decent passive coin. I make anywhere between 15 to 2,000 gold a day off of this income, and it only takes an hour of my time. I can make a lot more, and so could you if you want to grind these items, as the market is in constant need of them. But I enjoy playing with my friends and focusing on a skill of my choosing, not just grinding for the money. So access that resource map online, I can link it in the description, find the nearest hotspots to you to get your grind on, you won't regret it. 